Let me welcome you to my channel. Before we begin the video, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe and like this post. Roman Reigns is back as a baby face, but has yet to make amends with former Bloodline members. WWE analyst Sam Roberts recently addressed whether the original tribal chief will reunite with JUSO. The Yeet Master has reached the pinnacle of his career since parting ways with the Bloodline. Last week on Raw, he finally found his success as a singles competitor when he dethroned Braun Breaker to win the Intercontinental Championship for the first time in WWE. Meanwhile, Reigns is visibly short of friends since returning to SmackDown. Though Cody Rhodes has joined forces with him to deal with the solo Sokoa-led bloodline, it is unlikely that the two men will be on the same page for much longer. A feud between the two men has been teased by WWE and it's only a matter of time before the company pulls the trigger on their trilogy. Speaking on the Not Some Wrestling podcast, Sam Roberts believes the head of the table won't head to Raw to apologize to main event Jay since he still thinks he is head and shoulders above everybody. Roberts, however, feels Reigns needs Jay because once Rhodes moves on from the Bloodline storyline, he wouldn't have a lot of people to count on. Roman Reigns is gearing up for his first match since losing his undisputed WWE Universal Championship to Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania XL. He will team up with the American Nightmare to face Solo Sokoa and Jacob Fatu of the Bloodline in a tag team match at the Bad Blood Premium Live event on October 5. Reigns has been announced for several upcoming episodes of SmackDown which all but confirms he's back on a full-time basis. In the ever-evolving world of professional wrestling, few stories capture the attention of fans, like the ongoing saga of Roman Reigns and the Bloodline. As the centerpiece of WWE's dominant faction, Roman Reigns has taken on a persona that is larger than life, often playing the role of the ruthless and calculating tribal chief. His reign as the undisputed WWE Universal Champion has been nothing short of historic, with the bloodline featuring his cousins, the USOs, Jimmy and Jay USO, and Solo Sokoa by his side. However, in recent months, cracks have appeared in this seemingly unshakable unit, and speculation has run wild about whether a reunion of the Og bloodline could be on the horizon. Yet, according to one prominent wrestling analyst, Roman Reigns is unlikely to make amends with a key WWE star who could be vital for such a reunion. The analyst suggests that Reigns' ego, desire for control, and unwillingness to compromise may prevent the much-hyped reconciliation from taking place. Before delving into the possibility of reconciliation, it's important to understand the journey that brought the bloodline to prominence. Roman Reigns' transformation from the clean-cut big dog to the intimidating and manipulative tribal chief was one of WWE's most successful character evolutions in years. Aligning himself with Paul Heyman and his cousins, the USOs, Reigns embraced his Samoan heritage and began proclaiming himself the head of the Amway family dynasty. Together, the bloodline became a dominant force in WWE ruling over the SmackDown brand and capturing multiple championships. For nearly three years, the Bloodline was an unstoppable faction. Roman Reigns, with his relentless in-ring style and commanding presence, held on to his championship in a reign that rivaled some of the greatest in WWE history. Meanwhile, Jimmy and JUSO solidified their legacy as one of the greatest tag teams of all time. Together, the trio projected an aura of invincibility, with Reigns repeatedly reminding the WWE Universe that the family comes first so long as he was the one in charge. But as with all great factions in wrestling history, the seeds of dissent eventually began to sprout. In mid-2023, tensions between Reigns and the USOs began to escalate. JUSO, in particular, grew tired of living in Roman's shadow and enduring his manipulative tactics. After months of internal conflict and shocking betrayals, the bloodline fractured, with Jimmy and Jay ultimately choosing to distance themselves from Roman's rule. 
The cracks deepened when Jay walked away from WWE entirely, leaving fans to wonder whether this once unbreakable family bond could ever be repaired. At the heart of the Bloodlines drama is Jay Uso, the brother who, for much of this storyline, has been the emotional core of the group. Jay's complex relationship with Roman Reigns has been a defining factor of the Bloodline story, stretching back to their brutal clashes in 2020. At that time, Jay was forced into submission by his cousin, pledging allegiance to Reigns after a series of emotionally charged matches that saw Reigns declare himself the undisputed leader of the family. As time went on, however, Jay's loyalty began to wane. His internal struggle, torn between family loyalty and personal integrity, led to some of the most compelling storytelling WWE has produced in years. Jay became the first member of the bloodline to openly rebel against Reigns, eventually leading to his departure from the group. His exit from WWE was both shocking and symbolic, a visual representation of the dissolution of a family torn apart by power and ambition. The prospect of an AUG bloodline reunion has been a topic of hot debate among wrestling fans and analysts alike. Could JUSO and Roman Reigns ever reconcile, setting the stage for a triumphant return of the bloodline as a unified force? According to one wrestling analyst, the answer is a resounding no, at least, not as long as Roman Reigns remains the tribal chief. The analyst points to Roman Reigns' persona as the primary barrier to reconciliation. The tribal chief character is defined by control, dominance, and an unwillingness to share power. For Roman, the bloodline has never been about family unity, it has always been about cementing his own position as the head of the table. Reigns has repeatedly demonstrated that anyone who challenges his authority, even family, will be cast aside. This, the analyst argues, is why Reigns won't make amends with JUSO. To do so would require Roman to acknowledge that his methods, his manipulation, his ego, and his obsession with power have caused irreparable damage to his family. It would mean admitting that Jay's rebellion was justified and that Roman's dictatorial approach is flawed. For someone like Roman, whose entire character revolves around never showing weakness, such a concession is unlikely. Furthermore, Roman Reigns' refusal to reconcile with JUSO could also stem from a strategic standpoint. As long as Roman remains the top heel in WWE, he thrives on opposition. Jay's defiance has added layers to Roman's character, making him more complex and, arguably, more dangerous. To reunite with Jay would diminish the intensity of their rivalry which has become one of the most compelling aspects of WWE programming. The analyst also suggests that Roman Reigns may not even need to reconcile with Jay to re-establish the bloodline's dominance. Instead, Reigns could turn to other family members, particularly Solo Sokoa, the rising star of the Unwai dynasty. Solo has already demonstrated fierce loyalty to Reigns, positioning himself as the enforcer of the group. With Solo by his side, Reigns could continue to rule WW without needing to look backward at the fractured relationships of the past. Moreover, there are whispers in the wrestling community that other members of the Anwai family could be brought into the fold, adding fresh faces to the bloodline and allowing Reigns to move forward without Jay. Names like Jacob Fatshu, a standout in Major League Wrestling, MLW, have been floated as potential future recruits for the bloodline should WWE choose to expand the faction.